Hi guys, it's your Aunt Sue again with a story from my favorite book. This book is called The Little Prince. It's by a French author, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. You can read it in French or English. Here's a picture of The Little Prince. And also in the beginning, there's a book plate in the handwriting of my father, Robert E. English, 1943. So this copy belonged to him, and that is about the time that he would have left Minnesota to start his new job at what became NASA in Cleveland. Well, it was his favorite book, and it became mine. Let me read you just the beginning part. Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture in a book called true stories from nature about the primeval forest. It was a picture of a boa constrictor in the act of swallowing an animal. Here is a copy of the drawing. In the book it said, <clears throat> boa constrictors swallow their prey whole without chewing it. After that, they are not able to move and they sleep through the six months they need for digestion. That's what the book says. I pondered deeply then over the adventures of the jungle. And after some work with a colored pencil, I succeeded in making my first drawing. My drawing number one, it looked like this and you see they're drawing there at the bottom of the page i showed my masterpiece to the grown-ups and asked them whether the drawing frightened them but they answered frightened why should anyone be frightened by a hat my drawing was not a picture of a hat it was a picture of a boa constrictor digesting an elephant. But since the grown-ups were not able to understand it, I made another drawing. I drew the inside of the boa constrictor so that the grown-ups could see it clearly. They always need to have things explained. My drawing number two looked like this. The grown-up's response this time was to advise me to lay aside my drawing of boa constrictors, whether from the inside or the outside, and devote myself instead to geography, history, arithmetic, and grammar. That is why, at the age of six, I gave up what might have been a magnificent career as a painter. I had been disheartened by the failure of my drawing number one and my drawing number two. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves, and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Well, I'll stop here, but um, maybe someday you can uh, read The Little Prince by yourself or read in French or have someone read it to you. Uh, another thing, I wondered if you might want to make a drawing and show it to some of the grown-ups and uh, a secret drawing uh, that only you can understand and see if they can guess what it is. Okay, well, you take care thinking of all of you. And I'm thinking of Tanner alone in the basement and the sacrifice that his family is making. All right, you guys take care. Bye now.